It's a well-known fact that rotational or strip grazing helps to increase a paddock's productivity not just by providing more leaf surface area for bounce back, but also by shading the soil and increasing water retention which helps with nutrient cycling. Thermal images can be used to see if your practices are up to scratch or if there can be any improvements made. Wouldn't it be great if there was something that you could stick on your mobile phone to turn it into a thermal imaging camera and allow you to do exactly that? Well that's what today's product hopefully promises to provide. Let's see what you get in the box, see how easy it is to stick on the camera and then see if it works as a thermal imaging camera for you at home. Hey. Now this is of course Android and iOS compatible and they reckon it'll do most phones but obviously before you buy it check the site for references. Let's see what you get in the box first. Nice packaging. You get a little carry pouch. Oh good, instructions. This is cool. Now I've obviously ordered one that's compatible with an iPhone and I'm not into reading instructions so let's just stick it in and see what happens. Let's take him to the app store straight away. It's got me straight to the app that I need to get, so I'll get that. As you saw, I haven't read these. This might pass the Tim test. You might not have to read instructions. And we're loading the app. It looks like it's a reasonably small app because it's loading fast. It's half done already. While that continues to load, let's look at the other accessories that you get. You get some kind of a cable-y thing. Looks like you can extend it a bit and you get a lens cleaning cloth. That might actually come in handy for the camera that you're looking at me through because I probably need to clean the lens sometime soon. Alright, in that brief amount of time the app is already loaded and we'd like to access the camera. Okay, and allow full access, why not? It's only a Chinese thing, what could possibly go wrong? Um, agree and continue, something about privacy, don't allow notifications because that's really annoying. Now we've got thermal imaging mode coming available so I'll go into that and it's a first time connection, please wait, so it's calibrating. Not much else to say about the packaging except that it looks pretty good um, and if you want an online version of the user manual there's a QR code which is always a good idea and here we go. I've got it the wrong way around, I'll have to take it out, stick it in the right way around, there we go, okay so that should be an image of me. Let's see how it works in the paddock. Okay, so we're out in the paddock and I've got the little thermal imaging camera attached to the phone. The app activated, took about three seconds and I've got a few ideas. The first is I'm standing in a little patch of bent grass. There's a bit of fog grass, a few other weedy grasses and it's a bit thin and they're starting to lay over. And just over there is a lovely thick patch of clover. Let's see what the temperature difference is between the two. At the moment I've got this on photo mode. You can take either photos or videos with this. Let's see how we go. So our weedy patch, take a photo. And now I'll go over and take a photo of the clover. Lovely patch of clover. Let's take a photo of that. What I like about this is it doesn't just give you the thermal image and show you where the temperatures are in the image, but it also plots points and gives you the specific temperature points at those points. There's a nice patch of weeds and there we go. We can see a big temperature difference there. One of the things I like about this app is that it gives you temperature points it doesn't just give you colors of temperature across the image but it actually plots specific points and tells you what it thinks the degrees celsius temperature is now i'm not sure if that's 100 percent accurate but i don't think that matters as much as being able to show the range of temperatures within the image it's certainly going to give you an idea of how your paddock management's working 
Oh, now here's an interesting spot. This is an old burn pile, so it's not got much grass on it at all. Plenty of weeds. Take a photo of that. And then we'll take a photo of the grass right next door. You can see a fair difference in that. Okay, and so now we've got a recently installed gateway. So it's of course bare soil. Let's take an image of that. My sheep are absolute sooks. Let's go and wake them up. It's a hot day, they're hiding. Hey guys. And you can see in this image here, the impact of shelters on livestock. And now I'll take some video and we'll show the impact of trees on pasture growth. People think that you've got to take trees out of the landscape in order to get more grass growth. Hopefully this little bit of video sequence will show you why it's actually the other way round to a certain level of tree cover. Here's the area without trees and then we'll go into the shaded area and you'll see that the grass is much more likely to grow down here and to be at its optimum photosynthetic temperature of about 23 degrees depending on the species of course. Well as far as I'm concerned, winner winner chicken dinner, great Chrissy present guys. Something I almost said no to reviewing because I thought it would just be a silly gimmick has turned out to be one of the most enjoyable little gadgets that I've used all year. It's not only got application out here in the paddock as I've tried to demonstrate for helping us to understand how our landscape's performing but it's also of course got applications for plumbing, auto mechanics, showing hot spots on engines, things like that. There's a range of uses and applications for a little tool like this that you just simply plug into your phone and literally it's plug and play. Guys, if you like this kind of content, don't forget, hit the little subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, plenty more on timthompson.ag and there's a link to this in the description.